Hi everybody and welcome to our Saturday afternoon, morning, evening, live. Uh, we're progressing again today with our little golden book. Uh, and I, I really think that people are in, I'll just find myself so I can keep up with the with the chat from you guys. There we are. Um, I think people are generally quite enjoying this project. I'm seeing some lovely, lovely pictures, progress pictures uh, over on our YouTube group. Um, Facebook group which is Miss Paint-a-Lot's junk journal group and really you you oh, there's some lovely work there there really is and I think even the very new beginners are managing to keep up with this with us um, so where are we up to oh I've got a little bookmark here more on that later so we've made the pages narrower that was the first thing that, well, we opened, split the book open, made, made the pages narrower. And then we started, this is our little tuck spot here, um, and the pocket. And you can still read the story, should you wish to. This is our acetate window. And I think this has caused the most problems for people, uh, actually. But most of you seem to have figured a way around it, and it's all looking good. So that's my acetate page. Um, and then this big side pocket page here with a little diddy pocket there, narrow pocket. More of my story. And then this is what we did last time. We made this um, envelope, which is really rather pretty, I think, actually. I really like that. Um, of course, you could decoupage it with anything at all. And I was just a bit concerned that some of the American people um, didn't have the decoupage napkins that we have over here. So I've just, this second actually, just had a look on Amazon.com just to make sure that napkins are available. And they are, so we're okay so far. And that brings us to this. This is the page we're on, and it's marked by this really gorgeous bookmark. Look at this, guys. Look how nice this is. It's fabric, uh, sort of like calico, and it's got something inside it, like pelham. And it's got these little appliques on it. It looks like Kath Kidston fabric to me, actually. It's sewn around. It's got this really lovely eyelet. And I don't know where you got that from, but I'd like to know. It's lovely. And attached to it is this little heart with a stamp of a little bird on it. And it's sewn around and it's stamped. It's just a lovely little thing. And it came from Kerry Roberts. And I can't thank you enough, Kerry. It's cute and it's lovely and I love it. Uh, and I think it's a great thing to just put in our book, our journal, as we're going along, just to remind us of where we are when we're making it. And then later on, where we're up to when we might be reading it. So thank you very much. It came alongside two beautiful teacups that she'd made with paper and some um yeah pass one over please this is the one that came to mr f and he's absolutely <laughs> he's over the moon with it it's the, he's doing a happy dance now it's the first happy mail he's ever received he's absolutely over the moon and as you can see he started to eat his sweeties already i haven't huh and that's the teacup isn't it lovely the scroll handles and everything just the time taken to do that and i so appreciate it so thank you very very much Kerry. Uh, a greatly appreciated happy mail and i shall enjoy eating the cookies and drinking the tea and the coffee so this is where we're up to then and if we have a look at the book that i've already made that we're using as a template this is this page it's the center center spread so first thing to do is put this large um, piece in the middle. Now, as you know, I'm using text. I'm using a children's book, this bedtime story book for my, um, where I've used design paper in here, I'm using text from a children's book. You can use whatever you want. Really, you can. Um, and I've split down the signature here so as I can pull pages out. And this is the next page to come out. So let's just have a look and see. Now, I need it to be that wide and one page isn't gonna be enough. So I'm gonna to have to use both pages here. 
<clears throat> which means I'm going to have a blank bit down the middle. Now, if this is happening to you and you want to, you could put some decoupage in there. You could stamp in there, paint, you know, put some lace down there, whatever. All I would say is try and leave the very central bit free if you can. Decoupage is fine, but anything adding paper etc because this is where we're going to have to poke through to get the signature to to sew in so we want as little as possible on the center line so let's have a look and see what that measures and then i'm just move my oh my second signature just fell out Very quick. yeah roll call deborah hi deborah first off the mark this morning Oh, well done, Deborah. Roz. Hi, Roz. Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hilda. Hello, Hilda. Jen. Hello, Jen. Shimari. Hello, Shimari. Kerry. 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 Hi, Kerry. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Uh, Joseph. Hello, <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> Samantha C. Hello, Samantha. Leslie M. Hello, Leslie. Jean. Hello, Jean. Donna. Hello, Donna. I think that's everybody. Oh, Joan. Hello. Going. Hello, Joan. Hi, everybody. Welcome along. Let's see if we can get this middle page done and dusted today. So what I need is, first and foremost, some form of ruler. I think my box with all my stuff in it's going to tip over, which wouldn't be handy. Right. So let's measure what this is. So it's nine inches. Actually, it's a tad over nine inches, but I'm. Let's see if I put that. There. It's about nine and a quarter, but let, let's go with nine. Keep the maths something like simple. So if that's nine, I need to get my centre page out my book on four and a half, and make a mark. Right, first thing to be lost today is the pencil excellent start to the day i'll use this one it's not my favorite but and linda russell's just popped on hello linda i don't recognize the name so you're very very welcome of course um right so i just need to cut that up there and cut that up there and then i should have a section that i can make my central piece out of so using those marks and if you're using a quilting ruler use that mark on the side and use the lines on the bottom to line up with the bottom of your page and then you'll get it nice and square and slice that up i know that you know a lot of you don't use quilting rulers um so just, you know use the method that you always use and same on the other side, four and a half inches on there. Line it up along the bottom, line it up with your mark, and all should be well with the world. I hope you're enjoying making these little golden books as much as I am. I think it's really good fun. And we all seem to be taking the basics and expanding on them. And there's just some gorgeous ones appearing in the uh, in the group. Really, really lovely. So let's see how tall this is then now. It's six and three quarter inches. What weird measurements I made this, but never mind, not to worry. <laughs> Mr. Fixers just come and furtively remove that teacup with these sweeties in. As if I'm going to eat them. I've, I've forgotten how much that was now, look, you see, you've knocked me off me start six and three quarter inches so i'm going to measure from the top six and three quarter inches no 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 i'm not i'm going to measure from the bottom and it will become apparent why in a moment um six and three quarter inches let's just make a mark where i want to cut that Linda says she's a newbie. Oh, Linda, well, you're very welcome. We've got a lot of uh, new junk journalists on our group and uh, for watching us on Facebook, um, YouTube. 
so you're not alone and we were all beginners once right so i'm cutting that off at six and three quarters okay so this is the section that i have left this is going to be the pockety fold that in blah blah and this why i wanted to cut leave that there this is going to be the pockets at the bottom so if i'd done it the other way i'd have had my pockets out of kind of blank paper which wouldn't have looked so good so i hope you're following what i'm kind of trying to do here um right now the pockets on these this one that i've already done measure an inch and three quarters <laughs> these are weird measurements aren't they i don't quite know why i've done that but an inch and three quarters so i'm going to do that and try and get as much of the text as i possibly can so an inch and three quarters line that up with my ruler up the sides and along the bottom and there we go right so that's gonna go on there and that's gonna hide all of that blank bit that we had at the bottom so that's quite clever I don't know what's that. that was shady, she could hear. It was shady, yeah. yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Shady came in, the dog saw him, dog took off after him, Shady went meow and went hurtling outside. That is the whole scenario of what's just gone on here. All this goes on around me and I just carry on like a swan whilst mayhem ensues. Beatty's joined us. Hello, Beatty. Hilda says she's going to start on a book when she gets back from Holland. Yeah, she's off to Holland. Um, what's the weather like in South Africa, Beatty? In beautiful Port Elizabeth. Right, so that at some stage is going to get glued onto there, okay? So I'm going to ink along here. Well, I'm going to ink around the whole thing. Because you know the rules, you cut it, you ink it. <laughs> And that way then you don't get to the stage where you've stuck something on and you know, oh no, I meant to ink that. And that's happened to me so often, <laughs> more times than enough. I think here we're just beginning to feel like we're going into autumn, actually. Um, the trees in the garden are still in full leaf, but I imagine that quite soon they're going to be going... Um, getting the autumn shades on um, it, it's just got that feel about it and the nights are cutting in and whatever so uh, time to start thinking about autumn but in the meantime what I want you to start thinking about actually is after we've finished this book which is the absolute beginners beginners book after that after this we're going to be moving on to a Christmas book a little golden book but Christmas I've ordered mine already hasn't arrived yet but I've ordered it and it's the little elf is it called that the little elf he's um, busy talking to you so he's not listening to no you. I am listening to you I just oh. can't remember oh it's something like that the little, Santa's little elf or something like that uh, you can make your own choice there was when I looked on eBay, there was loads and loads of choice, and I'm hoping it's similar in America or even more than that. You know, seeing as they are American, really. Little Christmas Elf. Little Christmas Elf. So there we go. Um, and in that book, we're going to step it up a bit and do some more complex um, techniques. That's the plan. Um, so in the interim, between now and when we start, Get round your charity shops, your Goodwill stores, whatever, and start having a look for Christmas children's books. Not separate from the little golden book, which you, you'll need as a base. But, you know, like little uh, sort of books like this, but Christmassy ones that we can cut up for tags, etc., etc. So that's something to be on the lookout for. Right, so let's measure this. So the bit across the top, oh, I've got to get a different ruler, I can't, I can't see what that one says anymore. Um, 
across the top is an inch and a half. So let's just make a mark at three quarters of an inch each side of here. Yeah, it's shady again. He's now decided to torment the dog. So mark at three quarters on this side. Mark at three quarters on that side there. And then this side now measures after it's been folded three inches so let's make a mark three inches up from the bottom nancy says hi hiya nancy hope you're doing all right hope you're all doing all right come to that and three inches up there just there right so the next thing to do then is scratch your nose um fold our corners in so that's where one mark is there so get that right on the edge this is where the other mark is and get that right on the edge and then you can just crease your line in between the two same on the other side get your line right on the edge and right on the edge and crease that in just make sure it's really accurate oh yeah that's fine so there we are, taking shape already, isn't it? So we don't need all this flappage here. This is just excess flappage. So let's just cut some of that off. Let's leave about one centimetre, half an inch, that sort of measurement. Cut it down like that. It doesn't have to be the world's best cutting. Nobody is ever going to see this. Well, unless I decide to take the book apart. Oh, they watch this video. Oh, they watch this video. Yes, that's also true. So those are just surplus to requirements. So I'm just going to stick those down now so they don't get in anybody's way in the future. Oh, I've just had my glue filled up and it's a bit squishy. I don't know if you've noticed, but the glue is really temperature dependent. If it's a warm day, it's... Like <laughs> it's like mad. It comes out. Uh, Keller says hi. Keller. First time in the chat. Keller, hello. Does that mean you've joined us before, but you haven't joined the chat? I'm so glad you've joined in. Uh, uh, Jean says at this age she has some excess flappage. Jean, I have a fair bit of excess flappage. A fair bit. But it's not going to stop me enjoying the treats that Carrie sent me. I can tell you that. So there we go. Let's just stuck those down just, just out of the way. Right, now then, let's ink something. <laughs> Feel the urge to ink. And for those of you following us for the first time, this is Tim Holtz Distress Ink, and it's in the colour tea dye. It comes is it something about like 54 colours it comes in? It comes in loads of colours. It's masses. And he's forever adding to it as well. He's just added one called Robin's Nest, Robin's Egg, something like that. And it's a beautiful duck egg colour. I don't know where I'd use it, but it's really gorgeous. Anything sort of Frenchified, shabby chic, maybe. Anyway, that I digress. This is a tea dye, which is a kind of one of the mid-brown colours of his range. So let's... Uh, ink this top bit because it's not going to have I don't quite know what's going on there that's not right my measurements are askew that's not three quarters of an inch and that's an inch oh I've obviously had my ruler in the wrong place well that's no good I can't I can't proceed with that because it's conky look at it that's no good, and I think I've stuck that. I think that's probably stuck fast now. 
Ooh, it's ages since we've had an occasion such as this. Yeah, I can't really do very much with that. So I think I'm going to have to um, make, a, make a new one. <laughs> so, right, where's my book? It goes in the craft crematorium. Yeah, the craft crematorium, which is the fire setting department. I lost my book now. Here we go. So you see, guys, when things go wrong and you want to throw your arms up in despair and, you know, say, oh, I can't do this, whatever, it isn't just you. It truly is not just you. So that's the next page from my uh, signature. So let's have another go at this then, shall we? See if we can get this one right. Otherwise, this could be a very, very long video. I don't mind redoing this because um, there's quite a lot of measurements and stuff in it. So. so if I remember rightly, it's nine inches across. So I'm going to definitely make my mark at four and a half and nine. Well, zero and nine, the four and a half is on the center line. Okay, so four and a half inches each side of the center. I'm sorry, I'm not being patronizing to you. It's merely myself. So I'm gonna chop that off again, as we did before. Hopefully this will be your first time that you do it and you'll get it right. <laughs> His website seems to have 63 distress inks. 63 distress inks. And 61 distress oxides. <gasps> My goodness. And 75 of the minis. So the minis must come in more colours, I assume. Oh, they must do. What's that new one, that Robin's thing, whatever it is? I shall have a look. Let's see what it says. Right, so let's just check that we've got that equal on both sides. Yes good start so I need to chop this bottom no I chopped the top bit off didn't I and I chopped it off at six and three quarters let's get a ruler out that I can see would be a help six and three quarters there's none called Robin on his website no. Which bit did I cut off? I cut off. Can you pass me the crematorium bit, please? I can't remember what I'm doing here. Ah, yeah, I cut the top off. Okay. So six and three quarters. Six and three quarters. Let's get that right. So I'm lining it up. It should be straight, if, even if it's a wrong measurement. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. There we go. So, yeah, all's well. Oh, looks a bit shorter than that one, but it doesn't really matter. Right. So, I need to measure in. Neither of those are right, so I can put that aside. So, I need to. Where's my little ruler? So let's just check this again, make sure we get it right. From the centre to the edge is three quarters of an inch. Right. So let's put that, put the centre line, which is there, on three quarters of an inch. Mark there and mark an inch and a half. So that's three quarters of an inch. That's three quarters of an inch, so far so good. Now I need to measure up three inches. That was uh, what we had. So let's just put that on the edge. Measure up three inches. And on this side too. So there. <laughs> let's just hope this is right, eh? So once again, we're folding right on the line. 
and right on that line which you just didn't see for a sec and crease that in same on this side let's hope this time we've got it something like right and right have that line right on the edge there there we go right before i cut it let's just make sure yeah that's fine the latest one's called crackling campfire oh it must be for um halloweeny type things i'm guessing yeah so i'm just gonna once again cut this flappage off be good if we could do this in real life wouldn't it nancy got a bit too much flappage i'm just gonna cut it off okay i think we're up and running again here guys i think we're doing all right sorry about that but it happens you know it happens it's real life it's live bit of surplus glue going on here but um the best thing for this sort of thing is a dry wet wipe i have found after using loads of everything else a dry wet wipe is the stuff that does it and even then if you're using inkjet printed papers or anything it doesn't uh, move the ink around on your papers which can happen if you use a wet wipe. It really, really can. And it can absolutely wreck your design sheet. Right, here we are, just like it never happened. <laughs> so, the one prior to campfire was speckled egg. Ah, that must be it, speckled egg. I've just, I've just got Robin in my mind for no reason. Right, so we're all right, everything's still fitting. So as I was just saying to you, let's do some inking. Yeah, Jen put speckled egg. Ah, oh, thanks, Jen. Yeah, you're right. So let's ink around this. And we're going to put some lace on it. But I'm just going to um, erase my pencil marks because actually pencil, even when you ink on it and everything, it does show through. And it's really shiny. It's it, it's uh, It just shows, shows up through everything. The watercolour colourists amongst us will appreciate that. You draw your work on with pencil and then you can't get rid of it afterwards. Um, so the, there'll be lace going down here so you needn't go too mad on the uh, diagonals. I'll we'll just go around there. Right. Actually I'm going to go around the bottom as well. I know we've got that pocket going on but just in case there's a little bit left at the bottom that we haven't covered with a pocket I'll just ink it just for the sake of a couple of minutes Nathania says hi. hi Nathania you found the time to pop on that's great thank you right so this pocket now is going to get just stuck onto there and I'm going to sew around it so I really don't want too much glue on there. So I'm just going to use my glue stick. And just a little bit at the edges. Just get a paper to uh, glue on. Just a little bit. Just to hold it while we sew. If you're not sewing, um, then use a, you know, use a better glue than, than just glue stick something that's a bit more permanent double-sided tape or um, Aileen's Fabri-Tac something that's that's not going to do that that is very unsticky very very unsticky just get yourself stuck down stop messing around Let's just hope that that sticks a little bit just to give me a bit of a help when we sew it. So there we go. Right, so now I'm just going to sew around the whole shebang. Is that right? No, I'll tell you what, it'd be easier to put the... Yeah, good job that didn't stick there, look. Because I think it'd be easier to put the lace along the top here first 
We're having a cracking day today. <laughs> <laughs> working on the premise that if it can go wrong it will go wrong eh yeah I'm going to put this lace on the top there before I've got the you could do it after you've got the pocket on but I think it's just going to be a bit easier to do it uh, prior so yeah watch this entire video before you start doing anything because it looks like it's going to be one of those days so it might be worth your while watching it all to see if anything changes before the end I think we're doing all right now. I think we're on the right track now. So I'm putting some Fabri-Tac on here, which I know I can depend on to stick lace down. People are asking about your black eraser. It's uh, one of those Mars Stadelter Stadelter erasers. Um, I have got it in white as well. Just for some reason, I just find the black um, does the job better. Don't know why. I just prefer it. And the other thing I like about it is, you know, when you've been using an eraser for pencil, it starts to look really grubby. And I, I can't bear it. It looks dirty. So the black one never looks dirty because it's black. So we'll just chop the ends off there, square down with the paper. And that's all right, I think we're all stuck. Lovely, lovely. So let's have another attempt at sticking this down on the edges. A little bit of glue stick. It really should stick, there's no reason why it shouldn't. It was just messing about too much. So that goes down at the bottom and on the side, like that. Keep it square with the bottom and then it should stick to the other side. So there we are. We're not putting any glue in the in the middle notice. For the same reason as I explained to you before, we're trying to keep that central section as free as we can because that's where we need to poke through and sew through when we come to attach the signature to the um, book spine. So we want to make our passage with that as easy as we can. Right, I am now going to sew <laughs> where I was a few minutes ago. Blimey, I haven't even got a sewing machine on today. Okay, so I'm going to start on this section here, which is where we're going to have our uh, lace so you you know you won't see the stitches anyway so that's uh, that'll hide the start and finish business and I am sewing all the way around here despite the fact as I say you won't see this bit where the where the lace is the but um, it's just easier to sew around the whole thing all together I notice a lot of you have been sewing and I'm heartened by that. Um, I think some of you have started sewing for the first time, maybe even, and uh, I think you're noticing the difference that it makes to the finished product. It really is lovely. I can't wait to see who, I, who I'm going to swap with. I can't wait to see their journal. I'm going to have to wait, obviously. And I'm aiming to have all our journals finished for the end of October. Um, I think that's realistic. And so then we'll have a grand swap. And I think it will be a grand swap too. So like I say, I'm using book pages for this. You can use anything that you've got. You know, if you've purchased a downloadable digikit and you want to use that that's great I was just trying to keep the cost down as much as I possibly could for people who are new starters who don't know whether it's something that they want to keep doing or not and so don't want to be investing a lot of money
So Martha C says she's been sewing. Yeah. She was terrified, but now she loves it. It's so much easier than sewing fabric. That's the thing, because it doesn't move on you. It doesn't wrinkle up on you or anything. It's just easy peasy to sew compared to fabric. But I do appreciate that the first time it's probably a bit nerve wracking. And the thing you're saying is, is the swap within continents. Yeah, within continents. Because it's too expensive otherwise. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I noticed some people the other day, that Hilda was one of them, I can't remember who else, was saying that they were happy to swap internationally. But I think for the fairness of all, we'll make it, you know, Europe, the Americas, um, and Australia. And we have, and BT, I don't know where you're going to fit in, my love. Mm. South mm. We have got several South Africans on the group. I don't know. I'll pose the question if there are any other South Africans that want to, you know, are doing this. Well, South Africans that have actually stayed there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We have plenty of South Africans, but none in South Africa. Yeah. No, we've got um, South Africans in South Africa. And that's what I mean to say. Uh, so I'm going to put some lace up the side here. I'm just going to cut that off. So you see, for all this looks quite complicated. It's absolutely not. And I know I made a mess of the first one that I did. But that's kind of the beauty of using book pages. You know, it's not, uh, it doesn't cost me an arm and a leg to sort it out. So I'm using my Fabri-Tec again. This lace has got a bit of a stretch to it actually. So I'm kind of tensioning it. That's what I'm doing. I'm not stretching it. I'm just tensioning it as we go. So that's that. I can cut the top bit off. Cut the side bit off and we should be okay, I think. Always make sure when you do this that this bit here, this little flappy bit there, has got some glue on because if it hasn't, it frays and it looks awful. So just a little dab of glue there and hold that down. Same at this top end here. Just make sure that it's going to stay because um, frayed lace does not look nice. Same down the other side. Let me just measure out a piece. My glue is very lively today because, as I say, Mr. F's just filled the bottle up. So it's, it's quite lively. That's it. Just keep it straight by your edge. You all know how to do this. I know you do because I've seen the pictures. There we go. I'm just going to make sure that that bit down there it's got some glue on it. Just hold that in place for a sec. And the same up here. I don't know how many weeks it's going to take us to do this little golden book. And I am aware that some of you aren't doing the golden book therefore it's probably beginning to get a bit boring for you the other thing i'm doing at the moment is the videos for the collaborative journal um just in case you thought i was sitting doing nothing i'm also doing a commission 
Um, what else are we doing? Oh yeah, I did that little live the other day, Thursday, Thursday was it, I think, on um, that altered envelope, and I loved that. It came out really nicely. So there you are. We've got, uh, I think, my lace is, it looks like it needs ironing, to be honest. And that bit there is just not lying flat, so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue there and put that down so it lies nice and flat. Try and get the top on the bottle because it's in one of those erupting moods. <laughs> right, so now I've kind of, kind of sorted really. Just need to put that into our book. So this is our centre spread. That's the envelope we did last time. So this is going to go onto here with the middle of the thing in the middle of the page. And I'm just I'm just going to remove this envelope because it's just going to make life a little bit easier for us to glue down. So I don't really want to put any glue on the on the on the center if I can avoid it. So I'm going to put some glue across the top, down the sides, and and around here. Now, I want it to be straight and square. That would be excellent if that were to be the case. So what I'm going to do is get my ruler, work out where I want this placed on the page. And I'd really like to cover that little bit of dark coffee that's landed there. So I'd like it about there if I could. It's me doing a slack job. Yeah, Mr. F doing a slack job. What can you say? Eh? Um, Samantha C says, not boring at all. Jen says, you can use any of these techniques in any journal. Yes, it's true, Jen. It is true. You know, right. Ray says, it's not boring. Oh, great. Gunny says you always can always learn something. Yeah, how not to do things in this instance. And Hilda says she can sit for hours watching you craft. Oh. That's... Some of us do. <laughs> yeah, Mr. F does. Somebody was saying the other day when they leave that, you know, we're talking about mess in your um, crafting space. I mean, my space is... It's beyond a mess. It's just it's just all encroaching stuff. Um, and we were talking about, you know, where where do you put it? How do you store it? Etc. Etc. And a few people said, well, they can't bear the mess. And so every time after they've been crafting, they tidy everything away. So when they come back the next day, it's all nice and clean and fresh. Lovely. I would love to be like that. But my response was, and I still stand by it. I craft until my head literally hits, <laughs> hits the desk, till I can craft no more. And I don't have time then to, to tidy things up. I just have to sort of, I'm usually stuck in the sort of sitting down position. So I just sort of crawl to the sofa, sit down and, you know, watch telly or whatever it is. So no, my space just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And I keep adding new projects to the front, you know, whatever I'm busy with. And the other thing gets pushed back and back and back until they start falling off the back of the tape. <laughs> and then when Mr. F walks past, he sort of picks them up, puts them somewhere, and uh, yeah, here we go again. Round and round we go. So anyway, I have decided that five-eighths of an inch is a good place for that to be. I think that's. I think it looks good at the top, looks good at the bottom. So I'm going to put my glue on. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac for this because I really, really want it to stick. Don't stick the angled side. That's where our pockets are going to go. So just around the, the straight edges. And if you sew and try and get some glue on your stitches, I've said it before, but they always seem very resistant to sticking. Just the actual stitches themselves. and a little bit on this uh, centre top part here. So there we are, we've got our, this is measuring 5 eighths of an inch. I've got my centre on the centre seam and lo and behold it's also on the centre up there. 
fantastic I'm butting that up against my ruler holding on to my ruler and just butting that up against it so it's going to be straight it's got no choice but to be straight as long as your measurement along the bottom is straight so there we are let's give it a good press down let's have a look at what we've done hooray so press it down firmly you can take your uh, bone folder if you have one or back of your scissors or anything like that and just press it down usually the edge between the stitches and the very edge that's where you need to press 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 make sure you've got a good um, bond So I think that looks quite pretty really for a book page. I am a great lover of using text in journals so I can appreciate that it's not everybody's cup of tea but I... Up, pair of pants. <laughs> <laughs> you just put everybody off this page now. Yeah. The pair of pants page. Yeah, yeah I can see it. You know, gusset. I can't pretend that I can't see it. So there's no glue on the middle of here and there's no glue down the middle of there. So when we come to sew our signature in, we're not going to have to wrestle with some set glue that we don't, you know, doesn't want to have a needle push through it. So the next thing to do now is just literally to find the journal cards, um, tags, etc, etc, whatever you decide to put in. Let's pop it back on there. Um, so I'm going to go to my nursery rhyme book I think and see let's have a look and see what kind of size we want maybe something about three and a half by five five and a half three and a half by five and a half that sort of size I have got some acetate journaling card pieces here <laughs> come as no surprise to you I've got a four by three six by three and a half six by four and a half so that's miles too big six by four Shaz says hi hi Shaz thanks for joining so I haven't really got one of my none of them really are the right size so they're not much help to me I mean you can cut yourself one if you uh, if you know if you want to if you've got acetate <clears throat> Let's see what we've got. And these are nice, aren't they, down here? I can make you one if you want. No, it's all right. Take a second. No, it's all right. Um, well, having said that, yeah. Yeah, please. Can you make me an acetate journaling thing at uh, six by three? Six by three. Yeah. I should do that now. And let's have a look at this small People one. People have been asking for my mail input, so. See, that one there, this 4x3, that would go down nicely in this pocket here. 6x3. 6x3. So we'll start looking in the book for something that's 4x3. And then when Mr. F comes back with these. I keep coming to this girl with a curl, and it's because the page is loose. That That's why. And we used little Tommy Stout last time. What about this girl here? She would make a nice little card there, wouldn't she? Yeah, like her. Let's draw around her. We'll have her for one of our smaller ones. It really is handy if you have got acetate uh, blanks. Sort of, um, you can see, you know, what you what you're cutting. So what have we got up here that we could have? Oh, that little baby, but yeah, it's a bit big. What about what about that little fella there? Oh, that was speedy. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna write on that six by three, six inches by three inches. Lovely. Thanks, Mister. 
You're welcome. You're a star. So this is four by three as well, and I can get him and his shoes on. So I think I'm going to use that. I'm just going to have the bottom of this poly put the kettle on, but it's okay. It's fairly obviously out of a book anyway, so we'll be fine. So let's cut those ones out first off. With my lovely new paper cutting scissors that Hilda bought for me. I'm really grateful to all the people that donate to this channel, um, both from my Amazon wish list and uh, donations to the channel. I say this um, very humbly. You actually keep the channel going. There is no way that I could afford to buy all the things that I use to provide these lives without some help. And I really do appreciate all the help that you give. Um, it's, it's kind of do or die for the channel, really. And so I'm very, very grateful. Thank you. So these are going to be the two small ones. You can make as many tags as you want. You can make them out of whatever you want. This just happens to be a nursery rhyme book that I got from the charity shop uh, and I like the images. That's really wayward cutting, that's rubbish. That's totally rubbish. It's pants. It's pants, indeed. Oh no, now I've, now I've got such a little bit, I can't cut it, that's it. Follow the line, dear. It can't be that difficult. Right, there we go, finally. I think we kind of got there. Um, I'm loath to throw any of that out, so I'll just keep it in my box. So yeah, one of these is gonna go here. One of these is gonna go here. But they are, as you know, you've just seen me cut them out from a, a book. And so we've got stuff on the other side. So you can't write on that, you can't journal on it. So we're gonna to have to back these with some uh, tea dyed, coffee dyed paper. Uh, and I just won't get them out of that, but look at that, I'll get them out of there. Um, Pat Rutherford was just asking where the wish list is, but I think there's a, there's a link beneath the video, isn't there? I think there's a link beneath the Whatever video, Pat, the um, but Mr. F will put it on, put it on now um, for you. Thank you. Um, I think the thing to do is to erase these pencil marks because, as you know, I'm not the world's best cutter and you can see the pencil marks all the way around here and they would really, really bug me. So let's just get rid of those. A little fly bug thing, go away. Same on this one. Yeah, I like my black eraser. Actually. I think it does the job really well. And you can see all the, the, the debris, so you know when you've got rid of it all. Excellent. Let's just waft that onto the floor, shall we? Um, Right, so I'm just going to use for this my glue stick. It's really sufficient. I'm going to sew around them so I don't need anything, you know, stronger than that. Uh, if you're not going to sew around them, as always, I'd consider your glue choice. Maybe use Aileen's. PVA would work really well. PVA works very well paper to paper. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure that's what this is, to be honest. Um, and it'll stick down nicely. So let's just pop the other, the other one on. I would always recommend using something to glue onto because you see all this glue that's here. That would be on your cutting board and it would get tacky and it would get dirty and it would get right on your wick. 
So if you use, um, just, this is just a piece of kitchen towel so you can see anything really. Um, I noticed somebody the other day using a Teflon sheet or something like that. No, it was wax paper. That's right, this stuff here. Which I happen to have for a completely different reason. But yeah, this Reynolds freezer paper. It is American, but you can get it in this country now. Uh, you couldn't when I bought this. And um, it's kind of like the stuff that butchers use to wrap up pork chops and the like. I'm saying that because that's what we had last night. Um, and, you know, you, on one side it's really waxy and your glue doesn't stick to it. So you can use it again and again. So that's a bit of a tip that I found from somebody else. It's not my original thought, but it's a good one. Actually, just catching my eye here is something that... I'll just show you because I'm not sure everybody's seen it. I'll start at the beginning of the story. Some time ago, um, a little while ago, I think it might have been in with the collaborative page that she sent. Sheila says hi. Hi, Sheila. Thanks for joining. Somebody sent me this humongously large paper clip. I mean, look at that. It's just ridiculous. And I absolutely adored it. And I kept it on my desk for ages because it really made me smile every time I saw it. But in the end, I had to give in and I had to buy some for myself, which I use. Uh, it's really good, actually, when you're sewing signatures in. You can use it to hold things. But <laughs> because I went on and on and on about the, the size of it, someone sent me these. And I don't, can you see them? They are the world's smallest bulldog clips. <laughs> they're so cute they're gorgeous so thank you very much for those um both of which are treasure right so let's chop these out ink round them get them sewn up i'm going on super slow mode today aren't i sorry anything that's either oversized or undersized yeah it's is funny amazing. isn't it yeah that's why i'm funny <laughs> which are you then are you an oversized elf or an undersized oh, giant. Yeah. It's somewhere in between, probably. <laughs> ah, an ogre elf. Yeah. An elf in ogre. Could be. Could be. Everybody's seen you because you've done lives. Oh, that's true. Ah, but they might not have seen you standing up. It's true. Yeah. I mean, you could be very small or you could be very tall. I could have a very small head on a very large body. Hmm? Or a very large head on a very small body. Who's to know? Who's to know? I can tell you guys, it's pretty normal. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you're worried about him. It's fairly normal. <laughs> there, therefore, <laughs> therefore, I don't put him on, on the table and laugh at him. <laughs> often. Often. I don't do that often. Right, so let's ink around these then. And I will sew around them, but I don't think you need to see me sew around them today. You know how to sew around a journal card by now. And we can progress all the faster if um, if I don't go sewing. And just a little bit on the other side as well. And then we need to find two tags for the back. On the original one, I put four in, you know, two on each side. And I like that, looks nice. So up to you what you do so that's one tag fits in there nice um i'm just looking at this actually sort of text here and thinking how nice a stamp would be there or a little butterfly or something where's my butterfly department um no not that that's just stupidly large um i, I don't know you know just you know what i mean just a butterfly I can't find a normal butterfly. I was fussy cutting last night with some scissors that Hilda kindly, kindly bought for me from my wish list. These ones. And the Fiskars, and I believe they are, you know, the sort of best crafting brand around. But these are Teflon. And so you can cut things like um, double-sided tape. And you know how it sticks to your scissors and it's all the right mess? Not with these. Oh no. So I used them last night for fussy cutting and they're brilliant. 
Anyway, that was just an idea about the butterfly. Um, I'm just going to ink around here. Look at that. I've been on an hour and I've done next to nothing. Ridiculous. Sorry, people. For the new people, you must be wondering what on earth you've tuned into. What sort of loony bin is this? Um, sometimes we get on faster. Occasionally. Right, so that's the uh, these two for down the bottom. My sponge is starting to fall apart. There we go. So I need, uh, Mr. F sorted me out this template for what I'm going to put in there. And that's just about bang on perfect. So let's see what we can find in our book of goodness. No, I don't like him anyway. <laughs> I don't like that nursery room. Oh, here we are, Barbar Bar Black Sheep. Oh, she would fit in. Would he fit in? Ooh, would he? He just would, you know. I like him. He's going in my book. Yeah, he definitely is. I've just got a little cut here from where I've been cutting something else. I'm just going to have to avoid that. Right. Yeah, he's a good one. I like him. So let's just draw around him. Now, if you're using something that's plain on the back, you know, design sheets that you've uh, downloaded and printed off, then you don't need to back them with coffee stained or tea stained paper. Um, it does give them a nice thickness, but it's not mandatory. You don't have to do it. Um, and in fact, in the one that I did, the little ballerina one, I was using design paper from my porch prints, actually, and I didn't back the journaling cards. Keeps the thickness down. Keeps your signatures a more manageable size to sew in. He's great, this fella, I like him. Actually, it's a really nice book, isn't it? You know, for the princely sum of a pound. No, I tell a lie, it wasn't a pound. It was three books for two pounds. <gasps> so it wasn't even a pound. I'm just going to get rid of that pencil again. If you don't do it to, you know, just when you've done it, you forget. Or at least I do. So, get rid of it now. There you go. So that's one journaling card. Should go in there nicely. Yeah, lovely. And just need one more. See what else we can find. Queen of Hearts. Mm. I love these, but I want to keep them. I don't know what I want to keep them for. I just want to keep them. What about this girl here? Little Miss Muffet, in fact. Mm. I can't get the spider in, so without the spider, it doesn't make sense. Um. Simple Simon met a pieman. Ooh, pie. Ooh, pies. Yeah, oh no, I can't because I've got too much of I love little pussy at the top. Stop. Um, had a hobby horse. No, same problem. Oh, look at that. That would be lovely for any page, actually. It's gorgeous. What about this pussy cat here? She's quite nice. Yeah, I'm going to have her. That's what I'm going to have. So make your own decisions on whatever book or design paper it is that you've got. Um, we're all using different stuff. So, you know, there's no point me go laboring the point with this book. Um, use what you think looks looks right. Let's just tear this page out. I love these robins on this page. 
I can imagine using them for other things than this book. So let's cut this mummy cat out. I don't even know what the nursery room is. Oh, three little kittens. Might be the one where they've lost their mittens, I don't know. I can't, I'm going back a long way here, guys, for nursery rhymes. Let's just have a quick read. Lost their mittens, yep. Yeah, now we know their problem. We can easily resolve that. Buy them some new mittens. <laughs> Get some gloves. Get some gloves. Yeah, but they've got paws, haven't they? They haven't got hands like us. They've got paws, like Bob's got teddy bear paws. So they need mittens. True. Yes. I could have a muff. Yeah, they could have a muff. That'd be nice. Stick your hands in the muff. Actually, that's come out nicely, hasn't it? I'm pleased with that. Looks nice. So, uh, after uh, this uh, live. <laughs> 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 I was going to say after this debacle, but I changed my mind because things are, you know, it's going all right. Um, I will ink around those and put them onto some coffee stained paper. And there we have our centre spread. Yay! <laughs> so, have we got time to move on to the next page? I think so. Come on, let's do it, eh? Let's do it. So, let's see what... Uh, I've lost my little ballerina here. No, that's not her. Okay. Oh, this is the little ballerina. <laughs> Where is your head at today? I don't know. Right, this is the book that we are doing. My book. That's the central spread for that signature. Okay, this is the book. So the next page is this one here. So let's see what we've got on the template book, the ballerina book. And that's what we've got. It's a side pocket with a big um, journaling card. Easy, surely. Surely even I can get that right today. <laughs> Mr. Fixer's looking at me like, really? You really think you can? <laughs> I had to give it a go. What the heck? Eh? What the heck? Before I do that, like a coffee? I think that'd be good because it's not as if I'm hyperactive enough. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Caffeine, what can go wrong? <laughs> oh yeah, some additional caffeine is just what's required. I'm going to ink round this page, okay? Because it needs inking round. And it doesn't look its best, in my opinion, unless it has been ink drowned. So don't forget to do your inking, guys. Sets it off nicely. And also, if um, on the background of your pages, before you stick anything on, if you want to put stencils on or um, stamps or anything like that, it would look lovely. Um, and, I, you know, I, ordinarily I would do it, but this is... A really really simple book for new starters so I'm not putting anything you know on the page before we start but you may have seen me on other videos doing stencils etc so that's that page done so let's turn it over see you hadn't even done that one half a job Half a job. Doesn't need much. It really doesn't. But it does look like you've cared enough to do it. And it does distress it, you know. Just what it says on the tin. It does make it look aged. This takes a couple of minutes to go all the way around. And it's really worth it. As I say, I'm using vintage photo. You could use one of the more colourful ones if I you wanted to. Tea dye. Uh, I'm using tea dye. <laughs> 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 but you could use, I mean, there's one called Peacock Feathers, which is a bright turquoise, uh, which I love. 
there's low I think we established a 63 or something of them so you know you're not short of a choice right so that's center they need inking round and stitching round they need stitching round but let's move along the bus shall we let's move to this one so I'm just going to take all my cards out of there just to make it a little bit easier for us to work on the back of that put them somewhere safe don't let them get caught up in the melee of your desk or you'll never find them again um, that's what happens to me anyway so this page here let's have a look and see what we've got we've got this side pocket which measures one no two two and a half inches two and a half inches in width so let's do let's find a bit of book page and do that so are any of these bits that are chopped off before any good well they might be but they've all got this margin on it so i'm gonna say no to those no thank you um let's see if i can find my book here yeah. there's all my templates just landed on the floor um so where's my center that i'm getting yeah here here's the center of the signature And the more you take out of it, the more difficult it gets, but that's fine. And that's a lovely page there for us. Actually, it comes slightly further down on that page, so I'll use that. So I want it the whole... Um, length, if you like it. Uh, height, height is the word. I'm looking for Jiminy Cricket today. So I'm just going to mark that there because I want to try and get rid of as much um, white as I can. So I'm going to mark that there, mark that there. Thank you very much indeed for my coffee. Um, and what I'm also going to do here look, is cut. I've marked that now I'm going to cut off around it. Sorry about that. I'm going to cut off this white edge. Cut off the margin of your book. I'm trying to be clear because it, nothing's clear to me today, as you can tell. Mr. Fix it's got treats over there. Right, so I'm chopping off that white white margin, but I'm not. I'm not even doing that. So that's seven eighths on my um, page. Are you showing them what you're eating? Yes. <laughs> right, and I want it to be two and a half inches. <laughs> and the reason that I'm saying this really clearly is because I'm obviously not on this planet today. Right. Let's pop that to one side. Excellent. So that's going to go up there. Same as that piece there. Right. <laughs> Marvellous. So I did mark it before, but I've chopped the marks off, so I'm going to have to mark it again. So it's going to go... from there to there chop that off and I'm trying as you can see to cut off as much of that white margin as I can I can't get rid of it all um, but that's okay if you're using design paper you won't have this problem if you're using book pages you probably will have this problem um, and so try and cut off as much of the margin as you can the white margin around it right hooray hooray we've got our side pocket so i am going to ink around it then i'm going to put some glue or uh, some lace down it so i've cut it so i ink it that's the rules that's what happens that way then you don't get something with a load of glue on the back and then you realise that you haven't inked it. 
So you're like, oh, I need to ink it. And it's all glue on the back and it's like a ridiculous situation. I speak from personal experience. You know, years ago when I used to do videos, um, mostly I'd say, I don't know, decorating boxes, painting furniture, that sort of thing. We used to have horrendous faux pas, didn't we, Mr. F? I mean, <laughs> really, 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 really horrendous. <laughs> and we just carried on, didn't we, like troopers? It was amazing. <laughs> We invented an all new saying for it, didn't we? Fofu. Fofu. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're having another fofu. I mean, it was, I'm sure in the end, I'm quite sure in the end that people tuned in just to see what sort of muck up I was going to do that day. Because it was inevitable it was going to happen. It was just what? What's going to happen? Oh my goodness me. It was, it was ridiculous. I mean, in the end, I got quite good at. at <laughs> Ignoring it and carrying on. <laughs> Didn't I? It was the only way forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Timmy. <laughs> I am quite sure that the people that tuned in, if nothing went wrong, I'm quite, I feel quite sure they were disappointed. Shaz, can you remember? Did you used to watch me then? <laughs> oh, my goodness me, so many things went wrong. Right, so I'm putting my, says she relatively sensibly, I'm putting my lace down this edge. Make sure you get it on the right edge. I like so. And with journals, when you're making journals, um, you want to always have any opening element facing the outside edge. So this comes out here very nice and easily. Had you put this pocket on this side, then you'd be struggling to get that out against the rest of the journal. So bear that in mind. It's a, it's a kind of rule, if you like, that any opening parts open towards the outside of the journal. That was serious, wasn't it? That sounded serious. <gasps> So let's just trim the excess off and then let's get it in the book. I mean, at this rate, let's face it, talk about doing a Christmas one. It'll be Christmas next year at this rate. Right, so really all that's going to happen is that's going to get stuck on there. No more, no less. Let's just open that up so we can get a good bit of purchase when we press down. I just need a little bit of glue under there. I think the dry rub-offs was the worst one. Really. The dry rub-offs were the worst. And that wasn't our fault. No, it transpired afterwards, after we'd struggled. I mean, really made a show of ourselves on this live. Um, the, the, the guy contacted us subsequently. We'd bought them from eBay. And the chap subsequently com uh, contacted us and said, Oh, I'm really sorry, but that... Um, load of dry rub offs that you bought were um flawed they don't work <laughs> <laughs> thanks for telling me that thank you so much it would have been nice to know before we shared it with the world <laughs> exactly um but you know it didn't actually make the live any better because we didn't know at the time that was what was happening we just thought that it was our own ineptitude <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. The dry dry rub offs are like um, uh, how how to describe them? They are they they're a on. film, a, like a film that's on a carrier sheet that goes through the printer. The printer prints onto the film, and then not using any water or anything, you just sort of separate the film from the carrier, put it down on the surface you want, keep pulling your carrier away smoothing down your film and in the end you've got this beautiful wrinkle free thing <laughs> except we hadn't no. it stuck to my hand and it was like a glove on my hand <laughs> it's just oh dear it was a ridiculous thing to watch i wonder how many people think dry rub off was a euphemism <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, it's one of those looks. Anyway, here we are progressing <laughs> with our little golden book. This is an easy page, isn't it? I will say. Well, let's not say that yet, eh? Oh yeah, look at that. I've just put glue up the wrong side. <laughs> it's a day today. <laughs> it's just the day for it, honestly. It's ridiculous. So I'm using my dry wet wipe to rub off that uh, glue that I put on that has no right to be on that side because that's the opening side. After we are finished here, we're off to uh, pick up some um, boxes, storage boxes, that Mr. F has bought on Facebook. Right, when you stick this down, stick it just a mil away from the centre line, for the same reason as I've been harping on about all day. When you come to uh, sew, sew your signature in, you don't want anything impeding the process of the, the needle as you go through. So if you just make this, and it literally is a mill away from it, then you'll make your sewing in of signatures much, much easier. So make sure that that's all affixed. And let's make sure that that hasn't stuck down because it had glue on it. No, I'm just going to have a mouthful of coffee just to give me a little more energy. <laughs> right, lovely. So we're all, all good, I think. I'm going to go back to these um, design sheets that I printed out from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah and see if I can find something that's this sort of size. I think I knocked all my acetates. Yeah, I did on the floor. So let's see if I can find something that's a bit similar in size to that. A little bit taller. What about that one? I think that'll be alright. Let's try it in the book and see if it's the right size. If not, I can make one if it gets me off the naughty step. <laughs> No, that's perfect. Look at that. So we'll look for something that's this size. Look at this state I'm getting in. Everything's everywhere once again. Um, so I've got those butterfly catchers, which is nice. That's a nice one. I like that one. I've got this girl here um, with a little dog kennel. I like that one a lot in the tree. Yeah. I like, I like that one. I'll leave that one out. Um, got these kids playing Ringer Ringy Roses. This little girl looking out of a window. Mm. It's a bit too small for our purposes today. Got this little fella down here. That's nice, but there's a lot of green involved. I know there is with the other one, but... I think I'm running out of poss possibilities. I could just cut a piece out of that collage page and that would look quite nice. Oh, look, that's nice. Yeah, that's going to be the one, I think, because it's blue and it looks fine. Yeah, OK, that's the one I'm going to use. So just... Draw around that. It's got text on it, sort of in the background, so I want to get it pretty straight. Otherwise, it's going to look drunken. And with this one, it hasn't got anything on the back. Oh, picked up two pieces there. It hasn't got anything on the back, so I don't need to uh, back it with coffee stain paper and then I'm going to cut this out with my my um, quilting thing and rotary cutter what's wrong with me today because that way then I will get it square which is a continuing problem with me I 
I've saved all these little pieces, you know, you think that at some stage you're going to use them, you probably never will and they're just going to get in your wig forever and a day, but it just seems wrong to throw them away somehow. So it's just a little smidge needs to come off this bottom here and then we're sorted. There we are, and that's just going to pop into there. Doesn't that look nice? Needs inked around. I'll just ink around it, and then you get the full effect. It's a really pretty card that one actually has turned out to be. I don't know what uh, Tina had in mind when she designed these papers, um, but they certainly going in our little golden book quite nicely I think. So I can't remember who it was had bought another different set completely from somebody completely different um, from Etsy and they were beautiful children's images really really nice. Uh, the reason I selected these were was because they were inexpensive and as you know I'm trying really hard to keep the cost down on this uh, no, doesn't that look lovely? Very, very nice. Right, so let's see how that looks in our book then. Got rulers galore. Now. So here we are. This is our centre spread. And I've taken the tags out so I can pop those back in now. So I'm going to put him that way because I think we'll see more of his face. Put her that way, we'll see more of her face, and the that and that. So yeah, excellent. So that's the centre done, pretty much. I need to um, ink around, sew around, you know, back them and sew around them and sew around these. But you know, ostensibly that's done. You can you know how to do everything else. Then on there we've got this. Just need to fold that down a bit like that. Um, yeah, looking good. So what's the next page then? What can we look forward to? Oh, it's a double pocket page. Hmm. Shall I do it? Shall I do it, guys, or not? What do you think? I think we might as well. Let's push on with it, shall we? Well, you might as well ride that caffeine high all the way to the train station. <laughs> Can you imagine when it crashes? <laughs> Train crash. Right, so I'm taking gonna take that page out that I'm gonna work on. Put that at an angle so I know where it comes from. Find somewhere to put it, which isn't easy. Right, so this is let's have a good look at it. This is a double pocket. It's got one journaling card in the back and two smaller uh that's a ticket and a little postcard in the front. They're all design pages, so I haven't uh, coloured the back or um, mounted them on anything. Entirely up to you. I'm doing this, as I say, for beginners. So what it looks like I've done is sprayed the back here. Uh, I haven't got any spray at the moment, and even if I did, I don't really want to wait for it to dry. So um, let's just leave that up to your imagination. I think maybe what I'll do here is stamp some butterflies on it. Um, and for that, I'm going to use a different coloured ink. I'm going to use this antique linen, which is a much lighter, uh, well, you can see it's that sort of creamy colour. It's a really nice colour and it sits well into the back of pages. So rather than spray this one, I'm going to stamp it. So I'll just get my stamp, which is a butterfly that gets used for everything, and just press it down. You know how to stamp, I'm sure. And I'm just going to put some butterflies on at kind of random angles. And it'll just take the plainness of that um, back away. You can, of course, if you want to, spray. You know, I've obviously sprayed the first one that I did. Um, I think that's probably sufficient, actually. Don't don't go overboard with it because then it ceases being a background. 
and your eye just catches on it all the time and it, it it's too much for the page so that's pretty so if you've got a stamp and an ink pad you can obviously do that make a spray um, stamp on it you know anything to color it if you want to you don't have to so right let's get a bit of book page and let's see some measurements here so this the back one is four and a half inches so let's just concentrate on that <laughs> just before I get carried away with myself so four and a half inches is what I need along here I don't really want that margin so I'm gonna just make a mark there where I'm gonna cut it to avoid the margin and then four and a half inches sorry that was just my ruler it's a bit. so there we are so I'm gonna chop that top bit of, of white paper off and then cut it to four and a half inches I don't feel like I'm teaching you very well today. I'm sorry. Sorry to let the side down. Um, I hope, I really hope that you can follow the instructions I'm giving you. Because um, I feel like they're a bit garbled today. So let's cut that off there. And then cut it off at four and a half inches. So we've got a section here that's four and a half inches. Straightening it up with everything. There we go. Now, how wide do I need it? Right, I'm going to have to leave some of that margin, the white margin around the edge on. So I'm going to cut that to there, cut it to there. And that'll get rid of as much of the margin as I can, but I can't get rid of, I just can't get rid of all of it. Let's just tear that off there. Save it being quite, quite so flippy flappy. So I'll trim that off there. it off by that mark that we put on there I'm not expecting by any shot that you're going to have all of this done by tomorrow well yeah I yeah, am get on with it <laughs> no we I'm... might not even have it done by tomorrow <laughs> at this rate <laughs> no <laughs> so this is going to go here it's going to be our back pocket and I'm just checking to make sure that I've just got that little bit of margin there that I've talked about all day, to point of tedium, just so we can sew the centre spread in. So let's get inking. I've lost the little original ballerina page, but I'm pretty sure we put lace along the top there. Really, I thought today that all that we would get done was the centre spread, you know. Um, and then when it went wrong, I thought definitely that's all we're going to get done. But we're progressing. Progressing at a great rate of knots, actually, today. So on the top of this, make sure your text is the right way up your picture or whatever uh, you're doing. We're just going to put a little bit of our lace along there so I'm just going to put some uh, fabric tack down oh she's lively today there we are I'm going to have it so the points are facing inwards so it doesn't get caught in anything you might be putting into the pocket it's always worth considering that
There we are. Okay, trim that off. Okay, so that's that. That's going to go there when all is said and done. And the next pocket down, the one in front, the front pocket, in fact, is two and a half inches. Two and a half inches. So, I, once again, I'm doing mine out of, um, just checking that that hadn't stuck where I put the glue in the wrong place. Uh, I'm doing mine out of book pages, so it's going to be two lots of book pages. But, you know, if you want to use, as I used with the ballerina one, I used two different design sheets. That looks really nice, I think. But I'm sticking by what I said, and I'm going to use my uh, book pages. So I need another book page. It's no good. It's that one wide enough? Yes, it is. Result. This is obviously a remnant left from something else, possibly something we did today. Um, but it looks like it's just the perfect. Look at that. You wouldn't believe that, would you? It's incredible. So I want two and a half inches because um, that's the depth of the pocket. Is everybody okay? If, are they bored? Have they wandered off? No, I don't think they've wandered off. Possibly bored. Possibly. They may have fallen asleep on the keyboard. Yeah, that's still typing. Yeah. Have they stopped typing? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, <laughs> Gonny. Where are you all? Right, I'm going to ink around here again. Don't worry, I'm going to stop when I come to the end of this page, I think. Because it's just going to get samey. And that would be, that would never do. There we are inked around same procedure now a bit of uh, lace on the, along the top once again I'm using the same lace because I wanted to keep it easy for people to get supplies if you've got different sorts of laces trims edging whatever use it it'll look lovely uh, and on this occasion but I'm sticking with the same one throughout so it's going to go on the top there and I've double checked to make sure the text is the right way around because honestly today it could well be upside down. There we go. Please don't do that. Maureen has just joined us. Hi Maureen. Probably the right time to join us, actually, because basically there's been a little few mistakes today. Not many, really, in the grand scheme of things, has there? No. 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 Not in our grand scheme of things, anyway. It won't make the blooper real. <laughs> well, the first bit where I cut the um, thing wrong, that might. So I'm just going to, once again, just make sure that these are just caught at the ends where they might fray because we don't want that just glue those down right okay so next thing to do is this is going to go on to here now you could just glue those down and it would look perfectly fine or you could stitch around the whole thing which would look nice i, like, I quite like that idea uh, I don't want to stitch along there or there because 
um, I'm using brown thread and it would show up and it wouldn't look nice. So let me just check that that's indeed the exact right width. I think so. Yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do is just like we did before, put a little bit of um, blue stick around the edges just to hold it while I sew. But if you're not sewing, use something a bit sturdier, a bit more robust than just glue, glue stick. Pop that on there, just to hold it while you stitch it. Blue Cinderella says she's still there, but she's getting ready to go on a sea glass beach hunt. Ooh, that sounds nice. That sounds lovely. Nice thing to do. Right, so I'm just going to stitch around these three sides here. So I'm going to start there, just reverse a little bit just to lock that stitch in. people tell you what they're going to do isn't it because you can I don't know you just feel closer to them somehow yeah so you know what I'm going to do I'm off getting storage boxes try and make sense of all this stuff I've got care when I come to the top because I don't want to sew into the lace. So there we go. Very nice. And Nathania's got to go because she's got to go and do some cooking I think. Okay Nathania thanks so much for joining us. Uh, you know it's really nice to have you with us. I appreciate your time. And Flo Cinderella says she lives on the eastern shore of Maryland and when there's been a storm Ah, uh, yeah. There's a small beach where sea glass comes to shore. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? It's beautiful sea glass. It's like the sort of thing you would like to it's do. It's lovely, that. frosty look yeah. to it, and of course, it's all rounded corners. Yeah. Yeah. Tumbled. It's, yeah. It's nice. Perfect for mosaics. Mm. So I'm just going to glue that down there. Just looks a bit more finished off when you've sewn around it but you know it's not mandatory in any way shape or form the book will still work perfectly well if you just glue things and you don't stitch anything at all so i think we're nearly there i think you can imagine for yourselves what the journaling cards, situation, tags, blah, blah, whatever you decide to put in will be. So make sure you've got that right at this edge here. Like that. And then you've got that little gap that I'm going on about in the middle so you can sew your signature in. Press it down nice and firmly. And by golly, I think we've got there. As I say, that, that gets uh, journaling cards in it. That's up to you. That really is a kind of personal thing, isn't it? That um, you can choose. These are the ones I put in the ballerina, um, the My Porch Prince shabby chic ones, and they're fitted in with the papers that I'd used. But for mine, I'm going to use. Uh, some you know children's some stuff out my nursery rhyme book so let's assemble our book let's see where we are oops something's just gone flying i think it might be my other signature i think i've got it actually so that's on a skew that means this page 
needs to go in there. Right, inside to my other signature filler when you reach for it. So. Right, so let's have a look then. Let's have a look, see. So, got that page, tick, lovely. This page, yep, like that, love the journaling cards and the tag. Uh, this acetate page, I love that, it's gorgeous. And you've all made such a good attempt at it, really well done. Uh, this page with a side pocket, etc, etc. Uh, this page with a tummy tuck and the envelope. This central page. It needs finishing off, um, you know, just uh, inked around there, etc. But it looks nice for a centre page, that's excellent. Uh, this page with a side pocket down it and the big journaling card. And this page with a double pocket on and some stamps on the background. And it just needs some uh, tags, cards, whatever takes your fancy in there. Yay! See, we got there. Squirrel's nuts. Oh, yeah, squirrel's nuts. They didn't like any better the bones pup served them in his turn. No bunnies, carrot dinners, or tweeters, tasty worms, or turtles, ants, eggs, 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 or squirrel's nuts. See, because they were each cooking for each other, and none of them liked what the other one ate. That's the story, my story in my book. Right, so what have we got to do tomorrow? We've got oh, a little tuck little corner tuck here and we've got a tummy tuck down here with two lovely journaling cards in lace and something stuck onto that that's a nice page as well uh, and this is another side pocket here um, which you know how to do now and two big tags uh, journaling cards in there and that then is the end of that signature so I'm reckoning by the end of tomorrow, we should have done signature number one, which would be great. Don't you think? So that's for tomorrow. That's what's coming. How exciting. Um, and this is what has been done today. Brilliant. Right. So I'm very sorry for all the um, not good tuition today. I really am. I'm usually better than that. Sorry. Um, but I try my hardest. And as you know, not all days are the same. It was inevitable I was going to get a duffer sooner or later. So please, though, if you will, join me tomorrow. I'm hoping I'm going to be better. <laughs> uh, and it's going to be a bit easier to follow. But I'm sure if you play this back, you'll get the right measurements and you'll be able to, to do it you know, for yourself, hopefully. So I'm back again tomorrow, 2 o'clock. Thank you very much for everybody who's joined me. Uh, today I really do appreciate it and once again thank you to everybody who keeps this channel going um, by donating uh, through the donate button on the YouTube um, top part or by uh, buying the channel me and subsequently obviously the channel uh, things from the Amazon wish list all of it is greatly appreciated and it is not a word of a lie to say that it, this could not happen without that because I couldn't afford to go and buy all the stuff that um, that you need to do this. So thank you to everybody who contributes. Thank you to everybody who watches. And I'll see you again tomorrow, two o'clock, same time, same place. Bye.